Good day students. Today in this audio we are going to discuss the story written by the writer Jerome K. Jerome. The name of the story is A Bicycle in Good Repair. Jerome K. Jerome was an English writer and humorist who was best known for the comic travelogue A Bicycle in Good Repair is an extract from his novel Three Men on the Bummel which was written as a sequel to the novel Three Men on Boat. Jerome is widely loved for the humor in his works which is quite warm, unsatirical and unintellectual. The lesson Bicycle in Good Repair demonstrates these characteristics of his writing. There are two characters in this lesson, the narrator and his friend. The narrator narrates an incident where his friend repairs the narrator's perfectly fine bicycle and ends up making it worse. You may take page number 126 and listen. A Bicycle in Good Repair, written by Jerome K. Jerome. A man I knew proposed one evening we should go for a long bicycle ride together on the following day and I agreed. I got up early for me, I made an effort and was pleased with myself. He came half an hour late, I was waiting for him in the garden. It was a lovely day. He said, that's a good looking machine of yours, how does it run? Oh, like most of them, I answered. Easily enough in the morning, goes a little stiffly after lunch. A man whom the author knew had proposed one evening that they should go bicycling the following day and the narrator was very happy to hear that and he agreed to it. So he got up early in the morning and he was pleased with himself. Maybe he was a person who was lazy to wake up early. Anyways, he made the effort to wake up early and he was ready. He enjoyed the lovely day while he was waiting for the man. When the man saw the bicycle, he complimented the bicycle. He said, wow, it's a good looking bicycle and, and he asked about its condition. So the author replied that the bicycle worked like all the other bicycles. He said that it was easy to handle in the morning but it would become a bit stiff after lunch. He caught hold of it by the front wheel and the fork and shook it violently. I said, don't do that, you'll hurt it. I did not see why he should shake it, it had not. It had not done anything to him. Besides, if it wanted shaking, I was the proper person to shake it. I felt much as I should had he started whacking my dog. So when the author commented that it's a bit stiff in the afternoon, immediately he grabbed the bicycle and began shaking it violently. The author tried to stop him by saying that you'll hurt it but he didn't listen to it. The author felt that it shouldn't have been mishandled in this way as it was not at fault. Also, if it had any problem and needed repair, he was the right person to do it as he was the owner of the bicycle. Whacking means beating. He said, this front wheel wobbles. Wobble means to move unsteadily because he is shaking the bicycle. No, So it started to move in a very violent manner because he is shaking so violently. And he is commenting that, the bicycle wo wheel wobbles. I said, it doesn't if you don't wobble it. It didn't wobble as a matter of fact, nothing worth calling a wobble. So when he said that the front wheel wobbles, the author tried to correct him that it doesn't wobble unless someone shakes it or wobbles it. But the man didn't pay attention to what the author said. He said, this is dangerous. Have you got a hammer? I ought to have been firm, but I thought that perhaps he really did know something about the business. I went to the tool shed to see what I could find. When I came back, he was sitting on the ground with the front wheel between his legs. He was playing with it, twiddling it round between his fingers. The remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him. Now, as soon as uh, he felt that the bicycle wheel is wobbling, he said that it was dangerous to ride the bicycle that wobbles and asked for a hammer as if he is a great mechanic. The author felt that he has to be firm but still he didn't. And when he had come back with the necessary tool, he saw that the man was sitting on the ground with the front wheel position between the man's legs. He was playing with the wheel while twiddling it round. Twiddling means turning it round between his fingers. And the remaining parts of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside the man. 
gravel path means the path which is filled with stones small stones so the remaining parts were just lying on uh, that gravel path here the writer has used the word remnant for the meaning remaining parts remnant A remnant means remaining parts he said it looks to me as if the bearings were all wrong i said don't you trouble about it any more you will make yourself tired let us put it back and get off now he said the other comment that all the ball bearings looked like they had been put together in a wrong way hearing this the author told him not to worry too much about it any more as it would make him tired so he suggested him to put the bicycle back together and go for the long ride he said we may as well see what is the matter with it now it is out he talked as though it had dropped out by accident before i could stop him he had unscrewed something somewhere and out rolled all over the path some dozen or so little balls catch him he shouted catch him we mustn't lose any of them he was quite excited about them we groveled round for half an hour and found 16 he said he hoped we had got them all because if not it would make a serious difference to the machine i put them for safety in my hat it was not sensible thing to do i admit now though the author tried to stop him telling him to put that aside and uh, let them go for the ride the man did not listen to it instead he said that they had to find out what's the problem with it and the way he talked was as if uh, the cycle had dropped out by accident actually it is because it was because of him that the bicycle is in problem right but he behaved as if it was bicycle's mistake or it was uh, accidentally dropped out before the author could stop him from doing anything more he had unscrewed something somewhere and all the ball bearings of that part rolled out on the path just imagine and he started to shout catch them catch them and we shouldn't miss any one of them the author felt that the man seemed to be quite excited about the new situation now they grovel round for half an hour and found 16 grovel means they crawled on the ground searching for all these ball bearings for half an hour and finally they found 16 and the band said that he hoped that they had got them all and if they hadn't then it would make a serious difference to the machine we know that if one screw is not properly fixed it will cause a serious difference to the machine right and finally when they got these 16 ball bearings the author put them in his hat for safety and he himself admits that it was not a sensible thing to do because at any point of time these screws may get lost right